All right, I know a lot of you all out there are building homes or doing DIY projects. And if you are, you may have noticed wood is a little more expensive. It's three times more expensive since the year started. THB 11's Ashley Godwin tells us what's causing the surge and how long it could last. The effects of all this are just so, you know, puzzling and somewhat fascinating. At Fuller and Son Hardware, owner Jeff Fuller has seen some fluctuations in the market, but never anything like this. No, I mean, for it to jump this much in such a short amount of time, I've never seen it before. At this hardware store, a piece of wood like this cost $7 at the beginning of the year, but now it costs more than 20. Basic economics, the really low supply and the really high demand is, you know, what caused the surge. At the beginning of the pandemic, several lumber mills shut down, causing less product to be made. That paired with more people buying houses and doing DIY projects led to lumber becoming more expensive. But even with the higher cost, Fuller says people are still willing to pay. Yes, people still want to get it. People still getting those projects done. And how long will these prices last? Fuller says the market has leveled out quite a bit, so he expects the supply and demand to even out too. But it is a lot more available now than it was. So, I mean, people see a shortage in lumber. There's people out there that are going to, you know, ramp up production as soon as they get a chance. In North Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Fuller & Son also offers price match centers to make sure you aren't paying more than another store.